everybody, Adam at Flash Building here, and in this lesson I'm demonstrating how to create really cool um, realistic 3D effects on mouse over and mouse out in Flash. So let's press Control Enter to see what we have. So we have kind of like a logo animation here. When the mouse goes over it, the logo spins, it comes to life. When the mouse goes out, the logo stops. And what's cool about it is the animation stops at the exact frame where it is. See that? You can even see the reflections. Look on the 3D word there. You can see the reflection of that other word, flash, sitting next to it if it stops at the right angle. And on the spin, you can see it in the reflection. Really cool stuff. Really easy to do. So, true 3D on roll over, on roll out, or on click functionality in Flash. Okay, let's rock and roll. Let's open Swift 3D, any version you have, as long as it renders out the SWF file, which I think all of them do. And I'm working in Swift 3D version 6. And let's see. First thing I'm going to do is change the width of the layout to 640. The height I only need to be about 200 for the file that I want to bring into Flash. And uh, let's hit the text tool. Let's make that say flash. And let's back up just a little bit on the view of it by holding Alt, right mouse, and then dragging. Drag up and down, holding the right mouse button with the Alt key, and it'll drag in and out like that. Okay, so let's go and change the font to something cool. I like that katana, I like that. Make that a little bigger. And let's go to bevels. Out around maybe 0 0.03 instead of 0 0.05. There we go. Now let's give it a reflective material. Down here in the materials tab, go to reflective and let's make the the sides a nice gray, reflective gray, and then you can have a bright reflective red on the edges. And then on the face right there, we'll have a darker red. Maybe this one right there. Okay. And you can also go to the smoothness of the bevel. And the mesh quality, you can bring that up. So when it renders out, it'll look a little better. Now let's back up a little more. Take that, put it over here. Make sure it's highlighted. Press Control C, Control V. Make a new instance of that. And then let's change what the text says on that one to 3D. And Let's see, let's get this one here, and <clears throat> I'm going to change the font on that one. Let's go to, where's that Oliver Barney? Nice thick one, there we go. And I'm going to change the material that's on that to nice bright white on the face. And it looks good. We'll leave it just like that. Now, what we want is this thing on mouse roll over in Flash. We want the word or this group of letters here to to rotate. So we'll have an animation. We can just go to the preset animations, common spins. Put this horizontal spin on it. That way when it spins around, we'll be able to see this word reflected in this face and on the sides. So we'll see the word flash here reflected off of this when it spins around. Let's see what that looks like when I, I dragged the horizontal right spin onto these group of letters. Now I'll press play here on the animation. And you can see how that works. Now let's go to preview and export and see what we have. Raster. Let's go to frame one. Let's generate the selected frame. See what it looks like. 
It's not too shabby. Now let's go back to scene editor. Let's get rid of one of these lights. It's a little bit too bright for my taste. And let's also bring this over here. Let's change the layout or the environment rather to background color black because that's what we'll have it in flash. And the environment, let's make that a little darker. There we go. And also the ambient light color, make that full black. There we go. Let's try that. Preview and export. Generate selected frame. That's cool. Alright, now what I'm going to do is render out the animation. Let's go to Scene Editor. See what it looks like again. Make sure it's what we want. Yep. So when the user's mouse goes over it, I want that thing to start spinning. When the user's mouse, mouse goes off, I want it to go back to the flat view. Alright, so let's go to Preview and Export. Make sure we're selecting Flash Flash Player SWF to render out and quality all the way up. Raster, generate all frames. Now it's going to take the time it needs to make all, I think it's 19 frames it's going to need for that animation. Okay, so all the frames are finished rendering and we can press play here to see what it looks like. And it looks really cool because when it spins around you can see this word reflected off of this the faces of this word. Really cool and you can see the lighting moving around here. Okay, so let's go ahead and export all frames as the SWF. Let's go ahead and save it on the desktop as Flash 3D. We'll name the file Flash 3D. Save. Now it's an SWF. Now let's go into Flash. Create new Action Script 3 file. Let's make the stage what we want. Let's go with six, eh, maybe about 700 wide and 150 high. Let's go with 30 frames per second or maybe around 24. Background black. Okie dokie. And now let's import import to the library let's go to where are we desktop flash 3d SWF now the whole SWF is going to go into the library you can drag it out as movie clip. It's a uh, library. And there's, see, there's all the bitmap images for it. But you can just grab the movie clip or the SWF, which is essentially a movie clip. And now, when you press Control Enter, you'll see that you have your animation in Flash. That is awesome. That is awesome looking. I know this animation. Uh, the video probably is choppy. That animation looks choppy. You want to see how it looks really good. Click the link in the, or you want to see the way it should be, or it's intended to look, and the way it actually looks. Uh, you can click in the link in the description of this video, and you'll see it on page of Develop PHP where the demo is of this SWF showing. Okay, so now we just don't want it to spin like that the whole time only on mouse rollover so let me teach you that right now real quick okay let's highlight this movie clip on stage let's give it an instance name of my logo my logo underscore MC now let's go and put another label or another layer above this layer let's name that AS3 for action script 3 highlight that and press F9 to open your actions panel now once in the actions panel we use my logo underscore MC 
dot add event listener. This is going to be mouse event dot roll over. Where is it? Roll over, comma. Let's just name this uh, logo spin. That'll be the name of the function that's going to fire up there. Now let's go and write that function in. Function logo spin. Let's get our void in here. Create the curly brace nest. <coughs> and here this is going to be mouse event. So we place event. Or a lot of times you see E or EVT. People write that out differently, but I just like to use the standard event for that. Event colon mouse event. Now that's logo spin all set up and ready to go. So all we have to do is well first let's go into this movie clip and make sure it just doesn't spin by default by putting a stop action. New put a new layer and then put a stop action by opening the actions panel here and typing in stop. And this way it won't spin it will just be sitting there and then uh, when you want it to spin that's when you just say go to and play wait let's see how are we gonna do that yeah let's not put the stop action inside it would be better if we put yeah, we don't even need that layer. Let's put the uh, the command for this to stop right at the start of the script here. My logo MC dot stop. There's a stop action commanding that to not play it by default. And then uh, what we can do is say my logo on rollover my logo underscore mc dot play now we'll just copy these lines right here and make the out listener and the out function so let's make this roll out so when the mouse uses roll out or the mouse the user's mouse <laughs> rolls out we want logo to stop so that's called logo stop. Let's make sure it says logo stop here and make sure this says stop. And that should do it. So now when I put my mouse over the logo, it will start that spin. Let's see if I coded that right. Let's press control enter. Beautiful. Mouse out. Cool, it stops exactly where at the frame where it's uh, when the mouse goes away from the clip that is cool so you can see it oh that is neat that is funky fresh I don't care what anybody says I love how you can see the reflection of the other word in it too and the shadows so when the mouse goes over let's make this bigger mouse goes over the whole thing spins the mouse goes out and it stops look at that you can see the reflection right here in the three of that whole word almost. It's awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much how it's done. And you can, doesn't have to be for logos, any kind of animations, menu panels, whole screens, whatever you want to do, these things can fly around. And this is the best way to do real 3D in Flash, I think, because Swift 3D exports nice SWFs. And you can see inside, there's all the little pictures that make up the animation. You just got to watch out how bulky you make your files. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.